everybody. Happy Thursday. Week's almost over. Hanging there tight. Today we have, for flavor of the day, we have a classic one. Inawera Cherries. Picked this one up, Bull City Flavors, a while back. You can tell by the orange top on it. It's probably two to three years old. I don't use it a whole lot, but I don't mix a ton of cherry mixes. I mean, it's not that it's a bad flavor, not that it's a bad flavor profile, but just not something I mix a whole lot of. I use it, you know, one, one and a half percent. You know, like I said, most, most cherry flavors, I'm rather conservative. Uh, mixed it with cheesecakes, mixed it with all kinds of stuff. Mostly cheesecakes, cherry cheesecakes, that type of thing. It's the first cherry flavor I really used because, you know, as a lot of people know, cherries have always had a reputation of not being very good. And we'll see what a few other people have to say about it. Let's go check out ELR and see what's up. Alrighty, gang. Here we are. We are at Cherries from Innerware Flavors from Poland. Average mix and percentage 1.5. Single flavor medium is 3, which I don't see this one being used as a single flavor for any reason whatsoever, unless you're doing some kind of single flavor testing. So here we go. We got used Super Sweet at in a thousand recipes. Another sweetener at 300, TFA sweetener, forest fruits at 2 point, or 294, uh, Fuji apple, FA cherry, well, black, FA black cherry, I should say, uh, swirl, apricot from FA, FA meringue, lemon sicily, FA black currant, top rated recipe. And this one, this flavor did come out late 2015 from everything I've been reading. Soccer, soccer moms from Koppel is... One of the top rated ones with seven five star reviews. What he did here, and a couple is known for his florals for a lot of a lot of things. Here he didn't not necessarily a floral mix. He used it at 0.75 with FA Forest mix, Fuji Apple, Golden Pineapple, Mandarin. So he's got an orange pineapple thing going here. Marzipan, which is a little bit of a cherry note. Uh, meringue for some creaminess, the swirl, walnut for some nuttiness, and TFA whipped cream. So this is, this one's quite different. I'd say I'm missing, oh yeah, I don't have the FA walnut, okay. Let's see, no, let's see, he got uh, a sweet ambrosia salad is what it is from over on Reddit. Full of write-ups over there on Reddit with it. Uh, let's see, we got cherry key lime pie from Fresh. Made on July of 2017. He used it at 1.5 with the cheesecake and biscuit. Some Bavarian cream, key lime, lime tahiti. Uh, let's see, toasted marshmallow, vanilla whipped cream. Three to five day steep. Did it on one of his shows. It adapted from a mix. Let's see, adapted it from, oh yeah, key lime pie yogurt, which is a classic. That makes sense there. All right, let's see. We got Toonie Dark Cherry Custard from 2018. Now, I will admit, my collusion recipe is based off of this combination right here that he did with the boysenberry from Flavor at 0.3, the cherries at 1.2, the forest mix at 0.3. That right there creates a really rich well-balanced dark cherry dark cherry flavor not necessarily a i guess you can kind of say a black cherry but it's a nice dark cherry with no off notes and here you're going to use the precious quick custard mix i'll show you what i did here let's see collude with collusion yeah I used his the boy i did the same thing the boysenberry the cherries i knocked the cherries down to 0.6 and the forest fruit at 0.3 and with the yes we cheesecake and the new york cheesecake you know, the one two three with the with uh, vanilla, uh what's the name pudding did alfred pudding that's it I had to think about it for a second combination of the two called the collusion this is when all the political shit was going on i got some notes on it some people liked it which i'm glad yeah you know, i did this one what 20 early 2019 so it was a little over two years ago 
Yeah, five days deep. I've mixed this one a couple of times now, and I still like it. It's still a good mix. Uh, let's see. Vape Chef Mixer with Cherry Apple. Almost all in a wear. Using a wear cactus. In a wear cherry with cherries. Now, cherry's not necessarily a very highly rated flavor. Using a wear cherries at 3%. That's rather high, but here it must work with the lemon sicily and the Fuji apple. Oh, uh, let's see. Many more. Let's see. Fresh did here the, chari the charity bake sale. It needs to uh, need some air to come around, so a little sleep. Steep here. Use black currant. Use the cherries at one and a half. Black cherry at a quarter. Joy at a quarter. Some saline. That's an old school trick. And vanilla cupcake from Capella at three. So that's a different one. Oh, let's see. It's used here in a beverage with pink lemonade. There we go. We got anywhere cherries at 0.5. Flavor of lemonade. There's a strawberry lemonade with some cherry thrown in. There's a cherry here is used as a booster probably for the uh, strawberries. Nice looking mix. Let's see. Anybody else that we can find right quick? Let's see. Copley used it again in cherry moya. Here used a cherry moya from an aware. Uh, and where cherries at two and a quarter, guanabana 1.5 from Flavor, mango from anywhere at two, vanilla whipped cream at two and a half. Couples and mixers I have a lot of respect for. Let's see, fresh usually here again, mocks in a box. This is a donut, basically with the uh, yellow cake and the zeppola. Used a New York cheesecake in here. Lime Tahiti at a half, Flavor West Kiwi at three, Cherries at one and a half, and Bavarian Cream. See, that's the thing. Like, if you see here, you have Cherries at one and a half with the Kiwi. That cherry still stands out in this mix. But it's a, you know, it's, it's a strong flavor that if you do go crazy with it, it will, it will be a bad day. I'm not going to lie to you. I see Mop Head, December 2017. Uh, he used it with oranges and pineapples and strawberries and peach. And here he used it at 1.5. It's a good mix. Alrighty, gang. We are back up here now. Let's see. You know, where are cherries? What more can I say about it? You don't want to get crazy with it. I prefer one half to two is on the very high end. It's strong enough that it'll stand up to cakes, heavy creams, cheesecakes. Uh, you can pair it up with other fruits and it, it'll stand up, plus it'll blend. You can use it to uh, boost up some strawberries. may not braid them, but at least boost them and get them, you know, have them cut through in a mix. And that's about all we got. Anyway, I say thank you for your support so far. This has been a lot of fun. I said we're set two week, almost two week, come two full weeks in. Uh, let's keep the train going. Everybody, be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to those strangers because you don't know what they got. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.